presenting these cycles today. Um, somebody texted me, girl, you're late to your own show. <laughs> and I was like, like something about Diva, I'm like, it's not being a Diva, it's the fact that you're a broke ass hoe. Because <laughs> Beyonce ain't gotta walk to her show like <laughs> You know, it says like I'm the same way I'm on this ties to the sun. My mom didn't teach me how to dance like that. <laughs> I, sometimes I see like these people at the club dancing all crazy, you know, because they get the Holy Spirit. Yeah. And, um, <laughs> and the like process in my mind is like, ooh, you must be so proud. <laughs> you must be so proud to see you dance like that. <laughs> so tell me why I'm on Bart, right? Well, I'm, like tired and looking like crap because I was wearing a hoodie before I changed into this. <laughs> And people were talking about eating a bar. That's not like cute. I'm like, people are so rude. Homegirl walks into bar all entitled, telling people to move. I'm like, I don't know. Talk about colonization. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> so I'm gonna be reading for, I just um, released this little librito, chingaderita. Um, it's called oh, For Colored Voices Speak Softly. So I have a couple of poems that I wanna share with you guys. Did you bring copies? Yeah, I promise to make you are not broke. <laughs> okay, we're about to the lambe. This one's titled Listen to Me. Um, this one I wrote it because I'm, you know, like channel surfing through the news, right? And we're all talking about all this immigration, like jumping fences, like I see Because Mexicans, that's what they are, they jump fences. And so I'm watching the news and it's always like the same people commenting on like, Immigrants, or like, you know, what do they contribute to this country? You know, all I'm saying on it, for some reason, we're with the problem, right? And it, it dawned on me, look, like, why don't they ask these questions to people who are actually immigrants, and why don't they portray that in, in the news, and why are we not visible? And it's this whole idea of being misrepresented, and people taking my voice as an immigrant, all people, and people taking my voice as an immigrant and saying, like, I don't contribute nothing to this country. I'm like, Motherfuckers, I'm writing poems about your ass. <laughs> <laughs> and I do it. So it's how deep it's in me. Um, it translates to English. Um, what was it? I don't know how to translate it. Um, oh, well, look at it. I'll tell you what They say we come from Nazma of this place. From a third world, a little bit farther from their heaven. De montañas frias y sin gente de pueblos pobres donde el hambre es nuestro pariente. Que venimos de vientos y corrientes que somos invisibles ya que nuestra voz no sostiene valor o poder porque somos indigentes. They have written the histories with our blood. Build the empire with the bones of our gods. We raised our tongue to implement the own. Made us the enemy in our own home. Divide and conquer is how our children are born. Into a world where being of color means you are destined to mourn the death of the pasados whose stories have never been told. Listen. Que nosotros cruzamos fronteras en el silencio de la noche. Pero como criminales rompemos barreras ya que nuestras mentes el concepto de jaulas nos recuerda que somos salvajes. Que como animales no respetamos la ley del hombre. Y las historias que cuentan no recuerdan that we have been here for centuries. That before the cities and factories we used to be righteous people of the land connected to the sun by God's for dual energies. They forget that they have made us nothing more than hands. Simple robots in a system where people turn profit. With a history learned is not our own, but one manufactured by corrupt minds and wickedness. This thing. Que nuestra gente es mito, una leyenda que corre como río algo falso because the name of our dead are not found in the textbooks. Their existence needs their validation because in their progress we remain silent. Y déjanos, déjanos que te digan y te repitan, que te cuenten y te aseguren pero no les creas. Ya que en la guerra el tirano nunca cuenta su culpa y cuando leas sus libros con tu nombre en ellos no les creas. Just remember that your stories are thicker than paper. They are written in flesh, in land, the, so the soil the berries are dead. Your name carried in the whispers of the wind, in the rays of the sun. Your name reflected upon wounds, in the spirits of our people alive in Pachamama's womb. Let them write their books. Just remember that the truth can never be erased, that our people will forever remain. Que en el silencio que nos dejaron están nuestras historias que no necesitan palabras para ser sentidas. Let them tell you that your existence is illegal. Just know that one day our people will know the true definition of freedom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I was in 
I was, I had, um, with my homegirls, we were partying up in Esta Noche, right? Mm -hmm. That's right here, girl. Yeah. Um, so we're going back to Santa Paul when we're on the free shuttle because that's what we do when we're poor, right? We go to the free shuttle. And we would tell a pad, like, you know, like help pad to help people. I don't know why this happens in packed places. And so there's this brother sitting next to us, and we're all just meowing all right in Spanish, right? Because that's our main language. So we're just meowing in Spanish, and this brother turns to us and says, um, do you guys speak English? And like the Mexicans that we are, we turn around and smile. Like, yes, we do. Without even, it was lost or something. We didn't help from us. And, oh, uh, awkward. And we say, <laughs> We say, oh yes we do, right? All smiles. Picture three brown kids smiling. Not the white man. And he just says, good, because it's fucking annoying and just speaking annoying motherfuckers oh. today. <laughs> Literally he you knows that we're three badass bitches and we're poets. <laughs> so we start this girl just starts going off. I'm like, oh it's nice to see that we live in post-racial America. <laughs> And she she goes off on like um he goes like oh you, you know you guys are investing our country with your language and whatnot oh fuck that I'm like yeah, this is crazy you feel know, like I'm fighting with Bill right <laughs> and my friends all like oh Spanish speaking Americans have the same rights too like my brother's dying in Iraq for this country you know my half brother in Iraq but it's so funny because you know we're like we're like clowning on this person who's part with our poems. Like I start busting out with his poem, and it's hella packed, and people are like cracking up. And it's, it's like one of those bar actos that you do with high <laughs> And you know it's hella funny because it's it's true. Like it's still predominant. Like people think it's racism doesn't exist. It still does. We're here on the back of the bus, like bro. We're like the Rosa Parks right now. <laughs> Both the parts have to do with a shade, like it's not cute. So we're thinking about we shall overcome. Fucked up shade, no, no. But for the people we left, screaming God bless America, no one. <laughs> God bless America, no one. Like the quality of the shade, no. See no for you, bitch. Okay, so now I'm gonna move on to. So this book was written basically. Um, based on all these brothers that I met, you know, colored brothers and poor queer immigrant. I'm like, oh, like, all the lesbians have everything, right? Because lesbians write. Wow, <laughs> 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 they do! And so I'm like, oh, was that a person? <laughs> and so I have, like, feel like I have, like, this lesbian consciousness, like, I'm a lesbian inside somewhere, and so I'm like, you know, brothers really need this. We really need to step up our game because it's not cute that we don't have, you know, documents of like, you know, what brothers are going with your brothers. Like we have like Cherry Moraga, like our son, all them girls, you know, that be doing popping, right? And so I'm like, I want to write something about that. And tragically, like I've ended up writing a bunch of fucked up love poems. <laughs> 